Okay, so once I am at the city program, and as you can see here, it's cityprogram.org, what I'm going to do if I'm here for the first time is I'm going to register. So when I register, um, the first thing that will ask me is for my organization. So I'm going to punch in Toro University, there we go, California, and I'm going to click Agree, and I'm going to click that I am an affiliate of Toro, and then it's going to ask me to create a username and password. Now, I'm going to just put in test student, and I am going to put in test student at gmail.com. Now, you'll notice I'm not using my Toro email address, and in all honesty, you don't have to use your Toro email address to affiliate with the university. So you can put whatever you would like in, in these, uh, this email address in terms of an email that you have access to. Uh, but that will end up being the email that City sends you all of the information. So um, it's always a good idea since you are doing research as a part of your affiliation with Toro University is probably to put your tu.edu email address in there, but you don't have to do that. So clicking on step three, now it's asking me for a username and I am going to continue with the Toro test student. It's asking me for a password. And it's asking me to pick a security question. Um, I always pick my first car. It was white. And I'm not going to save my email. And my country of residence is the United States. And I do not need to receive CEUs. And um, for that matter, I guess unless you're one of these groups here, you probably can't get CEUs. Um, this is up to you whether or not you want to participate in some of their surveys. I'd say no because it means fewer emails. Same thing with marketing information. I'd say no because it means fewer emails. Continuing on to step six, my institutional email. So I will put my own in here now just because it's going to it probably won't let me go any further without it. In your case and in my case, we are in the Graduate School of Education. Now, if I was in your position, and I'm going to do this as if I was, I am coming down and clicking Student Researcher at the graduate level. And then I'm going to scroll down. None of the rest of this is required, so I'm not going to bother with it. And then it's going to ask me to select a curriculum. So this is where it gets important in terms of the courses you'll actually have to take. So are you a student working or planning to work in sponsored research? Research need not be funded for a person to be considered an investigator. So if you're doing research um, as a part of your affiliation with Toro, which you would be if you're a thesis student or a project student, you want to click yes here. When you scroll down to human subjects, you are a student who is conducting no more than minimal risk research. Similarly, under the responsible conduct of research, you are a student. The HIPS, the Health Information Privacy Security, does not apply to you, so click not at this time. Unfortunately for question five, there should be a not at this time option, but there isn't. So it doesn't matter which one of these you click because you're going to ignore it anyway. So just as well to click the first one and then you'll see this is an optional question here so you don't need to work on it. Um, and basically unless you're doing research that involves animal subjects, you don't have to do any of that. And now you can click on I have confirmed the course um, that if they're not part of my institution, and these are all part of your institution, so you don't have to worry about that, um, but you want to click on that anyway because it requires you to click on it, and then click Complete Registration. And then when you're done, say Finalize Registration, and you'll get a box like this, which is essentially your dashboard, 
And if you click on the arrow here, or the triangle here, to open up your Toro University, you should have four courses here, one of which you're not going to do. So you will have the Conflict of Interest course. You will have the Good Clinical Practice course, which is the one you're not going to do. So the one that says uh, Good Clinical Practice, regardless of what it'll say here in parentheses, that's the question five that I told you that doesn't apply to us, but we have to pick something. So you'll want to skip that one. So the ones that you're going to end up with are Conflict of Interest, Students slash Class Projects, and then Students Responsible Conduct of Research. And when you click on any of these, you'll see that there's a series of modules that you have to complete for each of them. So there were four modules in the first one. There are two modules, required modules, in the um, second one. Your instructor may tell you if they want you to do any of these other modules here. And then in the Students Responsible Conduct for Research, there are another eight or nine modules that you've got to complete here. So there's about 15 modules to, to complete. Sorry, nine modules. So there's about 15 modules to complete in total that you'll need to do in order to prepare to do research here at Toro University.